Bear Track Outfitters 2018. We left Hudson, Wisconsin this morning at 5 o'clock. We drove in rain and wind all the way up here. We got up here. They brought me to this fabulous place. This is my second time up here. Corey and Cody are gracious enough to bring me back up. They brought me to this beautiful spot. There's three big bears coming into this spot. So hopefully we'll get one of them to come in tonight. Terry, Zach, and I are set up on this rainy day in the comfort of a ground blind equipped, of course, with a Mr. Heater. After less than a half hour, a small bear shows up at our bait site. We left A1 Archery at 5 a.m. this morning and drove straight through to Nipigon, Ontario. We were on the site by 5 p.m., 12 hours later. We only have this Friday evening and Saturday to hunt as Terry and his son Tanner need to be back to work on Monday morning. We made the drive for one and a half days of hunting under less than ideal conditions. The bears are getting close to denning up for the winter but our Nebraska boys want to give it a try anyway. As Terry says, I can't kill one in Niobrara, Nebraska. I see that son of a buck back there. Because I looked up and I'm like, I seen like a flip. I thought, oh, it must have been the leaves moving. But I think he went and came like that and came in like this. But I seen that son of a buck back there. We enjoy watching this bear for about the next hour, which really helps make the time go by on this rainy, cold day. The rain starts to get heavier and we worry if the big boys are going to show up today. Finally, our small bear runs off, so we get ready, and shortly after, this large bear shows up. It's not the biggest bear in the world, but it's pretty, pretty hard to pass that one with a two-day hunt, but a percent should I take it? Yeah, I think I would. And it's a nice bear. Terry is getting ready to try to shoot this bear. He doesn't like something and decides to leave. Within a half hour, another bear shows up. It's smaller than the last one, but with only one and a half days to hunt, we aren't going to take any chances.
that getting? Did you see what's up? Nice job. What happened? I really messed up on the first one. A real nice bear come in and I just didn't get it up quick enough. About 15 minutes later, this big old one come in and I wasn't going to let this one go. This is my second trip up here. Paul Korn here with A1 Archery. He set this up for me with Corey Hayward, which is a great bunch of guys. If you really want a good hunt, you come to this place because they work their tails off for you. And I couldn't be happier. There's only one way I could be happier than right now. Is I'm up here with my son, and my son could get one today too. That would be awesome. Night. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Mr. Corn, thank you. Damn. You are the man. <clears throat> that, was a, that was unbelievable, man. I want to just go out here and take a look. I swear I seen blood just oh, I did. Blood, out of him. Blood just exploded out of there. If, I thought I hit our little, our hit too far back, but Paul says it's a good shot. I'm gonna, I, I, what I want to do is just go out there and look at the, and make sure that that's what I've seen. If there's blood all over like that, then we're, we're good to go. Good oh, job, man. That was look at immediately right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. This is, I mean, this is right here. Look at the barrels right there. He's like. I got my bear. He went about 50 yards. Congratulations, Back of Bear Track Outfitters. Thank you. And you got it done. You came up uh, the earlier in the season. You know, we've seen some bears, but just didn't make it happen. So you came back up for another trip. We knew we had the bear still. We got you in a good spot. And sure enough, boom, voila. Good job, man. Yep. Bear Track Outfitters 2018.